Now please welcome to the stage, Dr. Daisy. Hey, first of all, I am very grateful, very grateful, uh, Dr. Whitman, that you actually took this job. I vividly remember sitting in the office um, and saying just how easy it was going to be. This is going to be like no problems. You're going to love this work. Um, and had a really serious conversation about how do you be a great dad and a great leader of the school at the same time. And um, without amazing staff and teachers and leadership, nothing happens. Um, and what's happened here at Manual Arts is part of what's taking place in LA in terms of writing a new reality for youth. And I am profoundly grateful. I mean, Manual Arts has seen a stunning, stunning set of improvements. So when you're talking about a 33% gain in API in a very short period of time. <laughs> so, so I want to clap at all these two. Let me put them all out there, and then we can just like howl for what's going on at Manual Arts. Um, when you're talking about year over year, 15% fewer youth in the lowest category of achievement, 7% more youth in the highest categories of achievement. That's how you close gaps. And then attendance alone um, is part of what we're talking about here. In LAUSD, in the last two years, we basically said, we are not going to talk about why students aren't in school as something we can't do something about. So a lot of times when I first came to LA, I was hearing about we have a huge dropout problem. And what it turned out to be was we did not have a huge dropout problem. We had a very significant push out problem. And when we watched the system willfully ask students to leave over this category called willful defiance, we could do better, and we have. Two years ago, we cut our suspension rate by 50%. Last year, we cut that suspension rate by another 50%, only to be surpassed by what took place at Manual Arts. You guys should be tremendously proud. No shocker. When you stay in school with amazing teachers and good leadership, you learn, and hence these scores have gone up. But it isn't for everybody yet. We're not confused about our mission in LA. It is to lift youth out of poverty and is to celebrate the amazing progress of students. We can't do that alone. I look at everybody from our sheriff, from, uh, I mean, Mark Ridley Thomas, I have to say, the only reason we have health centers in this district, quite frankly, sir, is because of you. And that if good health care is okay for the middle class and the privileged, it is darn well good enough for every single youth in LA. And I thank you for the sweat equity and the risk to stand up and call that out. I also see our chamber here, and I could go on, but that's not the point. The point is that you see so many faces because they are standing in back of you. Because we need you, the youth of this school, to be standing in front of us in the very near future. I mean, LA is America only sooner, and we are coming to a hometown near you. And we need to be powerful leaders, and that is only gonna happen through our youth. I wanna specifically thank Dr. Ross and the foundation and the endowment for being unwavering partners and being supportive for us and with us. We cannot do this alone. We need to wrap supports around students, hold them to high standards, and celebrate it when it happens. And that can't just be a system or a teacher or one principal. It's when we have partners like LA's Promise and we have board members like our board member Zimmer who walked door to door this morning saying, come back. We need you, uh, we want you. Uh, that is the kind of work that's taking place here. I'm very proud of this. I myself um, get up every morning, occasionally read the newspaper, then throw it away, um, and then set about the work that matters. This is the work that matters. It matters because it's the right thing to do, but it matters on a personal level. I'm gonna be old in, in a number of years, and one of the youth of this school is gonna be my dentist. One of the youth of this school is gonna take care of me when I am elderly. I need you to know what you're doing. One of the youth of this school is gonna be the air traffic controller, LAX, when I go visit my grandkids. You are part of the viability of what's going to happen in this city and in this nation. And I thank you for the hard work, it is not easy keeping yourself in school, yourself deliberately healthy, and yourself successful. Um, we need it, and, and we celebrate that. I promised myself to do everything in my power, 
whether it is to support you with technology, whether it is to support you with funding, whether it is to support you with policies that are student-centered and responsible, I will do whatever I can so that this progress continues not only here but across LA.